We're now going to be looking at active range of motion at the ankle. The four ranges of motion we're looking for is plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, inversion, and eversion. To start, have your patient start uh, lined up in a neutral position. For dorsiflexion, you're going to ask them to point their toes as far as they can towards themselves. Good, relax. For plantar flexion, start in neutral, ask them to point their toes away from themselves as far as they can. Good, back to neutral. For inversion, you're going to ask them to bring, turn their foot into the midline as far as they can. Good. Back to neutral. And for eversion, it's going to be away from the midline as far as you can. Good. Um, so we looked at active range of motion and everything was within norms. We're now going to move on to passive range of motion to see if we can differentiate any uh, ligamentous possible restrictions or injury. Um, so for dorsiflexion, you're just going to come underneath the heel, stabilize, and with your other foot supporting the bottom, it's going to push into dorsiflexion, and the uh, end feel is tissue stretch. For plantar flexion, you're supporting the heel, just coming down, pulling them into plantar flexion. That was a tissue stretch as well. For inversion, supporting the heel, other hand over top. Tissue stretch, and for eversion, tissue stretch. So we have looked at our active and passive range of motion. We're now going to look at resistant. So the four motions again are plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, inversion, and eversion. So you're going to start off in a neutral position. To test the plantar flexors, you're going to be pushing your patient into dorsiflexion. So don't let me move you. Good, so that's a grade five. For uh, dorsiflexion, you're gonna be trying to put them into plantar flexion. So go ahead, don't move. It's a grade five. For eversion, you are going to be trying to invert the patient's ankle. So don't let me move. And for inversion, you are going to try and evert. So don't even